What's going on guys, Austin Nurcho here and today we're taking a look at this Wave 2 of Overwatch Pop. So we have the next set of Wave of the Overwatch Pops. We have these five characters plus the big old Roadhog here that we'll take a look at. Um, but we'll just kind of look at each one first. So to start off with, um, we're going in order of their numbers. So this is 304. So first one we have here is Mercy. And so this is the GameStop exclusive one. So if we look on the side here, you can see that her collar. So she's got kind of like an orangish yellow um, tone going on on her wing and her outfit there well this time it's a blue color is her outfit instead of the white and everything and they just kind of reverse some of the stuff and I, I think that looks really cool but this is the um, we got the GameStop exclusive one instead of just the normal one um, just because it's easy to like get to and stuff and we pre-ordered these at GameStop so it just came with that one then we have 305 here Zenyatta there and of course we're going to open these up and take a look at them more we have Zenyatta Zarya there Sombra and these are all just normal characters. None of these are the exclusives. And then we got Junk right there, which is always one of my favorites. And then, as I mentioned, we have Roadhog here, the big giant one. And he's a six inch pup here. So, of course, um, we'll go through and look at each one of these and individually and stuff. And then we'll, yeah, just look at each one moving along as I just went through them there. So, let's go ahead and start with Mercy. So first up here, we're starting with the Mercy, and again, this is a GameStop exclusive. Um, now, I will say with these Overwatch Pops, I don't know all about the characters. I've only played as so many. I've not played as every single character, so there's a few here. I don't know much about what they do, but first off here, we have Mercy, and so she's a healer. So she uses her staff here to heal. Again, I don't know if it has a name or any of their weapons have names or anything, but she uses her staff to heal people, so she just kind of, you know, runs or flies around and um, heals people as they're fighting, and that's kind of what her whole deal is um, but so she is like obviously it's supposed to be designed you know kind of like after an angel or um, maybe Hermes maybe you know just because the healing part but she does have like a halo up here that of course attaches to her head kind of like a headband um, I like this blue design color they put on the inside of it there and on the outside but yeah just on her head then of course she's got a ponytail up here with her blonde hair and then she's got the normal pop face with just the eyes of course to show it's a girl she, they put the eyelashes in and then um, she's got eyebrows no mouth or anything just a little tiny nose there um, then she does have this covering that goes you know under her chin and all around the back of her head it kind of reminds me of uh, Gambit from X-Men he has kind of like a head covering like this is what it reminds me of then we go into her suit and then so as I mentioned so here is the pop is what she normally looks like so she's white with the orange and yellowish colors going in there and this time she's blue so you can see the difference so her outfit is all blue on here where on this one it's on the normal one it's all white and then the where this is orange and stuff it's now white and I like the white arms going on with the blue like dress or outfit I like those um, whole separation of colors and the blue and white I really like that then she's got her wings on the back here and of course she's got the blue wings and then the blade or the wing blades are now a clear color instead of like a um, yellowish clear um, but I like that it's kind of got a blue tint to it as well so it kind of fits in with the outfit I like that as well then her stick here instead of just being normal steel collar all over it's got um, the blue on it as well to match with her outfit I don't know if this is called anything the box doesn't say like what it like it is because usually they have like certain you know names for outfits like this um, then we go down to her feet so she's got like um, like a gray color so her legs and it's got some of that blue on it again that matches her halo up here and then um, down to her feet and then on the back of her feet they have blue heels on them because of course since it's a girl they always have to give them heels for some reason if they're like a you know a, a girl's girl type thing they always have to ha have heels for some reason um, then we go to her base and so she, she does have a base so she can float and so she sits on the ground and you know floats off of the ground um, it doesn't uh, detach or anything yeah it doesn't feel like it so it's permanently stuck in there and so she's always in a floating position like that and I think that's really cool and I really like this so that's gonna be it for Mercy the next up here we have Zenyatta, and so this guy, I've played as him a little bit, but not too much, but this is a robot guy that kind of does like a whole meditation type thing, and so he has these balls that float around the snake, and he just kind of throws them throughout the game and then uses them for powers around him. I think he maybe does some healing, and then, um... I forget what all his powers are. I can't remember. I know he like forms a force field around him or something. I can't like I said, I can't remember everything that he does, but I know he uses these balls for that. But as you can see, he is a robot here. So again on the top of his head, so he's got a robot head, as you can see. Then on the top here we have these blue 
dots that again I like this blue color they chose for this similar to Mercy's um, but you can see his eyes got like sad looking eyes there and then what would be his mouth here and so we've got um, a solid like uh, silver head or, or here and it goes all the way around the back then on the bottom here we go into gold but then we of course have a bunch of different mechanics of course as it's supposed to be a robot so we've got all sorts of you know gears and gadgets and stuff then on the back we have some tubes going into his head so you never know this uh, I guess maybe not say it could be a real person inside here uh, maybe a cyborg but he's got robotic hands and limbs so if it is this poor person has been destroyed and now he's a robot but then we go down into his body so again it's got a robot body so it's got arms the chest piece here uh, you know both arms and then we have the balls as I said is what he used and so they're attached to on a clear um, kind of like ring and then it's attached into the back here on the base because it's also a floating character as well and so it's attached to that, so that's why they just kind of sit around its neck. I think it, they should have been out a little bit wider, like, you know, maybe out to here and not as close in, because inside it looks just like a necklace. But So I wish they kind of, like, went out wider around the head. Um, then we go into its pants, and it doesn't really have the best paint job unless it's supposed to be like that, as you can see around, like, the belt line here, where it's kind of messed up some of the paint, and then it's got some dirt stuff on it uh, but then we have sort of inside I don't know if that's supposed to be inside it looks almost like blood inside of him there but I don't know if it's supposed to be the pants or what that he's wearing um, but then we have the yellow pants here they're all tattered and torn up we have this um, hanging down part here in the front with this uh, square or uh, pattern design there then again the more whole pants and then on the back he's got some like on his belt stuff hanging down so over here he has some beads with you know uh, like a fur or something hanging off it then he's got another um, cloth hanging down here off the back with some designs into it there some little like hexagons or something that looks like again all tattered and torn up as well then we go into his legs with more robot feet and then he's got some sandals on so it's a uh, Kind of like the um, traditional, I guess, like Japanese or something, where they wear these little sandals, whatever. But you like how he has the robot feet with the toe separation for the thongs of the uh, sandals. And then again, he's on a base that floats, so he does float, as you can see. So he's just hovering the whole time, and I really like that as well. So that's it for Zenyatta. Then next up we have Zari here, so she's supposed to be like the Russian character, and so she's a big heavy, like, I think it's a tank character is what they call him, and so she's, I believe, also a one of the newer characters, like, she's not one of the originals, but I could be wrong about that as well, but she's, as I said, a big heavy tank person, so she's kind of larger, like, I wish, I believe in the game she's, like, larger than normal people, she's, like, you know, big giant not giant lady, but she's probably, you know, closer to seven feet or something. Um, but she's just normal pop size for this. Um, but we'll start off with her head here. So, of course, she's got, again, the normal face. But I like how they gave this scar to her to show that she, you know, it has been in battle and is a warrior and everything has a scar on her head. I like her pink hair. It's a very bright popping pink. And it's a really, it looks like bubblegum or something is the, what they made her hair out of. And I really like the designs, this um, windswept, like, uh, design they put into it. I really like that. Then going on in her body, so she of course is in a stance position leaning on her gun. Um, but then she's in this blue armor with the red design going into it. I, I like the colors they chose for that. Then she's got, um, of course, bare arms with, you know, tattoos on her arms there. You can see up on her shoulder and on her forearm there. Going into gauntlets with the silver and blue and red colors. Again, she does have pink fingernails. So I like the detail they add in that. You know, she is, you know, like a warrior and everything, but she still paints her nails. Again, same on this arm. This time she has a band or like a... Um, piece of cloth or some probably leather around her arm there you can see on the back more of her armor it's got some you know like designs and stuff going in there I don't know what these would be um, usually stuff like this looks like where tubes go in but you know, she doesn't have any tubes and she has the same holes and stuff all over on, on her legs and everything uh, then on her chest there you can just see again more of the silver red and blue colors going together she's got a belt uh, of course her hands resting on like you know that they put her hand in that and then this one's just kind of hanging you know as someone really would stand if they were like this then of course the cross legs and you can see her um, armored feet and everything there the design they put into it with the grips and everything she's just standing there relaxed and then of course is on her gun here so this is her big gun that she uses and again they added more pink into the gun that I like and then it's got some designs going on the side there I don't know if they say anything but of course it's she's a Russian character so I don't know if it's in Russian or if it's just you know some design um, but I really like the gun design that she has here I don't know I assume the gun is held like this direction it's hard to tell I don't really see 
unless this is supposed to be like the trigger of, or the grip and trigger area there I don't really know it's hard to see how the gun's supposed to be designed um, but all these characters um, except for Roadhog do come with a base so of course we saw the two Mercy and Zenyatta had their floating bases but all the other characters come with these um, clear plastic bases that you know have the foot peg that you can stick them on to help them stand so it keeps them from falling over especially her because standing on the one foot um, she'd probably be able to um, relax or like you know fall back onto her gun and that would probably hold her up but um they just give you the base just in case and i really like that so i really like all the um, characteristics and colors they put into this character and i really like that so that's going to be it for zarya and next up here we have somber so this is a character i don't know a whole lot about i've not played this character very much or if at all um so i don't know what her powers are exactly so i can't really um tell you a whole lot about that but again we'll start with that so i like the way they designed her of course these are just like their character so it's not like they specifically designed her like this uh, funko but we have her head here so she has our half shaved head and then on this side she does have what looks like some sort of um mechanics going in through here so she may be somewhat robotic but it's going into you know in her to her brain and they have all these lines coming back out again with this hot pink color that again i think it's really nice color for pops um so she has her shaved head i like how they gave her an earring in her ear there then of course all this comes into the back here then of course on the other side she has her hair so she's got longer hair with going into a purple and then a white down at the very tips of her hair that i like that as well she keeps falling off of her base um then we've got her face or, or yeah her face and so i like they gave her i guess a mole or some uh, beauty mark as they call it then they took the um, lines out of her eyebrows too just to make her look you know hardcore more hardcore and rugged for war and everything then going into her i like these colors the light blue pink and purple i like this mixture of colors so she has a coat here that's all purple and has um some uh, silver designs going into it she has a belt that comes around here um then on her back you can see they would even add another like a greenish color into there again some more of the pink and some stuff on her back there again i don't know what her powers are so i don't know what this will do but just to see something going into her arm so you know from purple to pink to light blue and then she's got a purple um glove on her and then she has these see-through pink things going on her fingers so like she's you know typing in something or doing something with her hands maybe some sort of force field or something i don't know exactly but i like that they added this detail into it just these parts onto her finger then in her other arm going down into it we have a gun so she does use a gun of some sort as you can see it there it looks kind of like a little uzi or something that she's got holding on to and, and i like on her glove here you can see the lines going into her hands probably the feed into what this stuff is doing over here then going down into her legs so then we have this like uh grayish black color here on the top of her legs probably some sort of pants or something going into her pink legs down to the light blue where she is kind of barefooted like she has stuff on the bottom of her feet as you can see but on the top you can see her toes and then she has some of this like shoe design on her big toe there and i just think that's a weird design for someone's feet like i said you never know these could be you know like pants that she's wearing you know that complete like feety pants or something or they could be like you know just really tall boots that go up to her legs there i don't know exactly like i said i've not played this character to see her well enough to know exactly what she does um, but I really like, again, the designs they put. That's one thing I like about Overwatch is all the designs and the char into the characters they put. And um, it's just all the characters really pop and have character to each one of them, even though I don't know exactly what she does. And again, she is on a base here, so and she doesn't stand very well. I don't know if the like, peg's too big or her... Um, the hole in her foot's not big enough or it's just not deep enough but she doesn't stand on it very well like i can get her on and she'll stay like that but then after a little bit of movement and she falls off of it but that's going to be it for sombra then next up we have junk right here and so this is the character i probably play as the most when i have ever played um overwatch um so i really like this guy a lot so we've got his face here and so you can see he does so he looks like he's probably an old balding man because he has a lot of bald spots going on up here in his hair but he does have some longer hair still you know blowing in the wind here he's got big giant bushy eyebrows that can match the blonde color of his hair and i like how he's got like the burnt tips um going around all his hair there and then you can see that he's all dirty on his face so from here he's like all this gray color i don't know if it's paint or if it's just dirt because you know he's kind of like used a lot of bombs and grenades and stuff if so if it's just smoke um kind of like covering on his face but i don't know what he's got covered here unless he has 
it doesn't look like he has any sort of scarf or anything that he covers his face with. Um, but I really like the different paint design going into him. Then go down into his body here so you can see he's not wearing any shirt. Um, but he does have this armor pack on. So he's got like a backpack type design with these um, probably grenades and stuff right in here that he has that he can throw on this um, shoulder pack. Um, then he's got a giant wheel on the back that of course if he uses his like ultimate power thing he releases that and you control it and it drives into people and everything. Um, then you can see on his arms here he's got a tattoo of skull and like crossbones there. Nothing on that arm. Uh, they go into gloves so he's got more stuff here on his gloves. Probably some control stuff or it could just be designed. Going into like navy green gloves there. Things got dark fingernails so it looks like they're painted black but they could just be super dirty. Then on this arm going down, we have then like a, um, a leather band there going into what looks like a mechanical arm or just a piece of armor. They're going into this arm p orange piece. And then he's got his gun there, of course, that shoots all the grenades and rockets that you can see down into there. Uh, probably, or at least it looks like being held in here is where they, you know, shoot out. And that's what I like. I just like to shoot all of the things and just let them bounce around and try and kill people. Then going into his legs, of course, he's got some pants that are all tore up, some green pants here that match the gloves. He's got a belt on, and then going into his leg here, he's got, you know, patch design showing his pants are all tore up. Then he's got some tall white socks and some loose brown boots there. Then on his other side, he does have a peg leg that I like that. So again, we got pocket here on his pants, more patches and tore up pants, and then going into a metal leg here, probably a robotic leg, but it could just be a metal peg leg, and it's got some orange here at the kneecap, and then going into the peg down here at the end, so I, I doubt he can, yeah, he can't stand without the um, base, and then of course there's a look at the back and the wheel once again, and he does have a base, so it's a different design going into the foot, and it looks like they carved it out a little bit weird, but you can stick him on here, and his Peg, uh, some, if you get it on correctly, kind of floats off of the bolt, off of the base, but it holds him up at least, and I think that's really cool. So that's it for Junkrat. And our last character here is the six-inch pop of Roadhog. So this is really cool. I really like Roadhog a lot, and I think he's a funny-looking character. Um, but so we'll take a look at him. So again, we'll start with the head. So we have our um, gas mask up here. Of course, it looks like it's all been um, stitched up and designed and everything. Um, like it's maybe falling apart. He's just stitched it together, or it could have handmade or something. He's got like a weird animal-looking nose. So I'm curious to see what Roadhog looks like underneath here. But this could just be the mask design, you know, going into it. But I like that he's got the big giant eye holes. Then we have the like gas mask parts of so the parts where you know it takes gas in and clears cleans it out so you can breathe it with this mask. Um, on his head here, he's got long white hair. Of course, that goes into a ponytail in the back with the um, mask bands going around underneath it. So he's got this ponytail up here. Um, then we go into it's hard to see with this lighting, but the pop design about this pop I don't like is that he's got this giant neck peg. I assume it's to keep his head up, you know, above all this stuff going around on his body to keep it up so his head can move. But I don't like that it's like such a thin peg. I feel like it's you know easily gonna break off. The head's gonna just pop off or something. But then going into his body, so again he's got no shirt. <laughs> you can clearly see there. But he does have a, like an armor or a like a backpack here with some different patches of stuff um, or packs or. Uh, whatever you call pockets, what I'm trying to say, when well, they do have patches on it, but pockets here holding some random stuff, who knows, I like how he has like part of a tire here as his shoulder blade, or his uh, uh, shoulder covering with some spikes coming out of this side, he doesn't have one, um, we'll look at this arm here, it's just a blade, a plain and basic arm he's got like some bandage here and then of course a wristband with probably some studs on it too then going into his hand he's got some um brass knucks going on some and more black fingernails again i don't know if they're painted or if they're just dirty going into his hook that he uses that i think is really cool it's always fun to just throw this and grab on the people and pull them in um but he's got that I like how there's like nails or something sticking here so it kind of you know grabs onto the person and hook, um, hooks them in then, of course, it's got the chain going back into his thing where he can reel people in and stuff on the back there. Then on this arm again, so we again, we have the tire that we mentioned. Then some looks like some piece of just random armor plating he made and put on his arm. Uh, then he's got an elbow pad. Looks like an elbow pad, actually, like a second elbow pad with some spikes going on it. Um, then going into the arm, he's got more padding, like a glove on, of course, with more stuff. Um, these look like nail or um, screws and stuff. Then some studs here on his arm. He looks like he's maybe got a ring on his finger, again, with more dirty nails. And then another one of his clean plugs that help give him uh, fuel, like uh, health. He, so he takes these and, you know, attaches them on here and it gives him health, helps reheal him and everything. 
Uh, then on his back here we have a gun, so he's got a shotgun. Of course, he likes to throw this, grab on the people, pull them in, and then pills the shotgun out and shoots them with it. So I like that they put that on his back there again with the um, sheath and every, or, uh, holster everything there on his back. So you just pull it out and shoot. Uh, then going into his stomach here, so like he's got a big sticking out belly button. <laughs> That's funny. You know, I've never seen a fat guy with a belly button like that. But he's got a tattoo, so it says Wild Hog Power. So it's got, you know, a pig face right here in the middle with, of course, the belly button being the pig nose. Then we've got some engines coming off like you'd see on motorcycles or cars and stuff. And then um, maybe some handlebars here, so it looks kind of like a motorcycle. So it's got two handlebars, you know, with brake pad, um, brake grips and everything. Then going into his pants, so he's got like a belt buckle, or at least I assume this would be a belt buckle. It says Road Rage there. It's a license plate, so you can tell how big he is by using a license plate as a belt buckle. Then looks like he does have some sort of underneath clothing here, like these maybe suspender type things, you know, that go up and over his shoulders and connect to the front and the back. Some under there, but then he's just got his pants on. You can see some of his belt there, and of course showing through the front there. Um, I like his uh, skull. There is, I assume that's supposed to be one of his knee pads, and then another knee pad over here. Um, that's pretty much it for the back. Of course, we I didn't really show this a lot, but that's his, um, I forget what they call this, but it's, you know, got the chain. It can, like, wind up um, to uh, pull in the chain and to release it and everything. Um, so I really like that, like a reel. Um, then we go into his feet. Yeah, the feet are next. He's just got the pants of this, like, bluish-green color. Then we go into his feet, so he's got some big, giant um, shoes on here with some steel-toed on Especially that side and on this side, he does have a horn going into it. So if he kicks you, that'll definitely hurt. And so that just looks really cool. And again, this is a six inch pop, so just to see some size difference between the characters. He's not that much bigger, but it is a size difference there, as it should be, because Road Hog is definitely a bigger character in the game in size and everything. And so that's going to be it for all our Overwatch characters. Um, for this wave two of Overwatch pops, and of course we have all the characters back here from this set that we did. So I hope you enjoyed this review of the Overwatch characters. If you did, let me know in the comments down below. Let me know which of these, uh, what is it, uh, six characters that you like the most. Let me know which characters your favorite to play as in Overwatch. And don't forget to subscribe to see more videos, and we'll see you next time.